Hello, this is Chris Hill from GetOnlineSales.co.uk. I'm here today to talk to you about Gravity Forms. Gravity Forms is a WordPress plugin that you can upload from the Gravity Forms website. You have to pay a few pounds for it. It's about £25 and well worth every penny uh, because what Gravity Forms can do for you is create forms that you can add onto any website or blog and you get to style them how you want, capturing all the information that you require. For instance, this entry form for the face for 2010.co.uk picture competition. Uh, I asked for name, email, upload a picture, uh, which allows you to uh, capture uh, pictures and save them to the um, WordPress servers. Category entered, so I can put a drop down menu there. Postal town date and a capture to make sure I didn't get any spam on this form. And as you can see, all this is creatable uh, via the Gravity Forms dashboard. Let me show you how to do that. First of all, you would uh, upload the plugin. So you would buy the uh, plugin from Gravity Forms, uh, receive a um, plugin key code, uh, upload it into your plugin section here via the Add New. So there it is, already activated. Uh, once you'd activated the plugin, you'd go to Settings. Uh, just to make sure that the support license key was in there, which it is. And now you can go straight on to making a new form. Nice and easy this. Uh, untitled form, so click edit. Um, I'm going to give it a title of give us a tinkle, just as an example. We'd love to hear from you. Please fill out this form and get in touch with us shortly. Um, okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to save that form. It opens up another box. Uh, I'm going to continue editing this form. And as you can see, the standard fields uh, are here, but the advanced fields already pre-made are here. So I'm going to click once for name, and that appears. And then I'm going to add the phone, that appears. Uh, email, that appears. And the website. But I want to make sure that the uh, the name is definitely filled in, so I'll click the edit and make it required. And as you can see, a little red star has appeared there, uh, which means that a customer um, filling out this form will have to fill this section in with some information. And I'm going to make that the same with the email address required. Okay. Update the form. I'm happy with that. Um, now, I want to check what ID this form has taken, so it's called Give Us a Tinkle. There we go, it's ID number 5. That's important because uh, when I embed the form into the uh, page, I need to know what the ID of this form is. So I'm going to do that now. Let me show you where the code is for that. If you click the Help, there's a little bit of code here. It says add the following short code to your page or post. Highlight that and then press Control and C at the same time to copy. Then go to the page that you wish the form to be on. And I'm going to put this one on the bottom of In Social Media Marketing. Go to the bottom of the page, Control and V at the same time to paste, and change the ID to ID5. And it really is as simple as that. Now, when a customer fills in this form, let's just take a look at uh, what that actually looks like. When a customer fills in this form, um, which is just there, lovely. And as you can see, the name and the email are definite uh, boxes that have to be filled in. The information is stored on the WordPress servers and accessible through the dashboard. Let me show you what I mean. Um, so we're going to Forms. And Give Us a Tinkle is here. And you can look at the entries. Da, da, da. But if you want uh, the uh, information from Give Us a Tinkle to be emailed to you, you have to fill in the notification section. So email enable email notification to administrator and I want it to be sent to chris at getonlinesales.co.uk and then that's from my other email address and 
from the first name of the person who's filled it in, but I want all submitted fields to be in the email. So what will happen is when an email, co uh, when someone fills in the form instantly, it'll send to Chris at Get Online Sales uh, from DNA Chris, so I know it's from that form. Um, the first name of the person uh, who sent it to me and all their details uh, that they've filled in on the form. So if it's a client wanting information about uh, my products or services, I can instantly respond because all my emails get bounced to my Blackberry. So even if I'm out um, visiting clients, instantly I can get straight back and say, hi, uh, thanks for filling the form in. What can I do for you? So it, it's a great tool for me and I'm sure it can be used uh, for lots of other things. Now, that is Gravity Forms. It's nice and easy to install. Um, if you click the green button below it, uh, you can go through to the Gravity Forms website. Uh, and thanks for watching this video. Thank you.